So, Voronoi meshing poly surfaces. That's been all over the web. Everybody's trying to figure out how to do it easily. Um, solved with a grasshopper. So basically, once you've got the Voronoi mesh, you can do whatever it is you want. Underneath here we have just a poly surface which I've booleaned up. Uh, let me hide the mesh. And you can see the Voronoi pattern has been placed on the poly surface quite happily. So I'll show you how that happens. Just dump it, just dump the curves. Alright, and let's start with something here. I don't know, let's create a sphere. Oops. Let's pop a sphere down over there. Let's pop another one down like that. Let's grab a cube. Cuba, it's not called a cube in Rhino, it's called a box. So I'll kind of put that over there like that. So let's look at them. So the only, well, it's not a limitation, but in the way that I've implemented this to work, um, it's going to require that you Boolean the poly surfaces together, which uh, my stuff would be anyway. So you so we have this one solid surface let's just pass it to the rhino script give it a second to do its magic diggy 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 okay and basically you'll see what you have is a Voronoi that obeys all the rules goes around the corners properly oopsie and then once you have so if you follow this one, that Voronoi has kept around there, this one has kept around here. So they're all obeying each other, so they will follow the surface properly. So anyway, that was a little bit of fun. The answer to this actually came to me in my sleep. I had a weird dream about it. Anyway, so the fun part of it is you can make these really interesting looking structures using T-splines. Uh, you can tear pipe or do whatever it is you like. Good lot of fun. Anyway, cheers, Chris up.